All right, we got three more out here to grab and wean. This big dude here, and then these two over here that we're gonna weather. I think he'd be a good daddy. I think this one here. He'd be a good buck, won't ya? Wouldn't you, Dean? The day has arrived. It's time to wean the boy goats. I dread this day because it means lots of ruckus and I feel sad for our neighbors and us. All right, let's get this done. Boys. <laughs> Oven will be a weather. Soon you will not be, no be no longer a boy or something like that. You'll be wise though and you're a sweet boy. You'll make a good friend. He's a cool, nice dude. Look at you, blue eyed boy. Look at you. You'll be a weather too. He's a sweetheart though. I almost forgot about Mr. Dean. He's like, he's a boy. This is a cute little one. He's gonna be weathered. His brother that I just put in, I forgot to show him. He's got a bald face. They're cute boys. They're sweet. You guys are sweet. Lean is the oldest and the biggest. Ash Nubian and Mini Nubian. Don't you? And he's a stinker. Daddy's over there. There's Prince. Alright, there's the boys. Hmm. Oh, see, that's exactly why you need to be out of there, Dean. Mm-hmm. Oh, because he's... What? Sorry, Dean. Yeah, he can. Yeah, especially him because he's the oldest. Him and Owen brother. So now I have two does that only had boys and now they are completely kidless right now. And one of them is a first freshener, so <laughs> we'll get her on the milk stand for the first time. We'll see how that goes. That's always an adventure because honestly, I haven't worked with her um, much at all. And so uh, that'll be interesting. <laughs> And then the other one is, um, has, I've had her for several years. She's had three or four freshenings. And so, um, she is one that only had one kid on her anyway, and she never makes much milk. And so we'll see how that turns out of how much milk she's making. But this means I need to get the milk barn cleaned out because I got to start milking. I have people that have been wanting milk. And I just have been so overwhelmed and so busy doing all the stuff. And so it's time. I've got to get milking. I've never been this late to start milking. I did milk further. I did milk later into this year than normal. Uh, so it was kind of like longer um, in through the winter. And now I didn't start as soon as I normally do. So uh, it's time though. I got to get this done. So. I gotta get this milk part cleaned out and it's a mess because all of this work that I've been doing uh, to make the the little stalls <laughs> kind of made a mess, even a bigger mess on the milk side. And I haven't been in the milk side forever. So it's just, things just accumulate. I'm not sure how that happens, but it just accumulates. And then when you make a mess by uh, working on another project, it just all adds on to the old mess. And so it's, uh, it's quite the deal. That'll be fun to do. Alright, I'm about to enter the no man's land. Seems kind of scary when you see it, but I'm giving myself that feeling of hope by saying it's not as bad as it looks. Let's find out. The first hair out of the face. I'm ready. Go away, goats. How do we do this without goats? <laughs> Go and eat somewhere. Hey, Olivia. Okay, this is what we're starting with. All of this down here is a lot of tools that I was using when I was working on the other side. Got a lot of bags that were for the grain. And so that shouldn't be too bad. And then just a general cleaning. That's what we're starting with. A lot of this is tools. I'm gonna start by taking out the tools. Even though I kind of need the tools, 
I kind of need them to finish that side, but maybe I'll, I don't know what I'll do with the tools, but they're going to come out of the milking barn. So this is a light I used uh, before I had electricity in the barn. So this can definitely go out of here. Yay for electricity in the goat barn. things. I don't even know if they work. I should test them, but uh, good blood, good riddance for real. It's a junk. If you remember from previous videos, last year we had a huge drought and a very serious hay shortage which affected us and we scrounged all through last winter and, and this last spring for hay and actually we're buying it week by week and storing it in this side of the barn. And as you can see there is a, was an accumulation of a lot of hay on the ground and we're just cleaning that up now and we ended up just give, feeding this to the animals as it was cleaned up. Okay, this is what we've done so far. A little bit better, it hasn't taken us too long. Problem is, <laughs> now we got all this mess out here. <laughs> but they always say it's supposed to get worse before it gets better, right? Let's hope so. I am so thankful and proud of these guys for helping me get this cleaned up. They are such good help and it is so much appreciated when they jump in and, and help me with all of this. So this is exactly why I got these mats, so we could drag them out and clean them up. Because it's much harder to get water and get it all soaked up inside there. So this is my first time putting them outside and getting them all uh, rinsed off. Who knows what kind of a hot mess I am right now. Whew, we did it though. This is looking much better. I'm feeling much better about it. There are a few things that I still want to work on. I want to bring in some wood chips. I believe that will help keep the dust down in here. And um, I think that'll be good because, and if things spill, wood chips kind of absorb that much easier. It doesn't turn to mud. It just kind of soaks down through. So that'll be good. And uh, hopefully we'll help with the dust. And what else? Um, I'm feeling good about this. We're ready to milk. So here we are. The next thing we got to do tomorrow is see how the goats do after four months of not milking. How will they be? What will they be like? Do they want to be milked? We'll find out tomorrow. Things look a lot better. They look a lot shinier. I feel better about this. We're having an afternoon rainstorm, so I wanted to see what the goats think. You're inside, what do you think? Hmm? What do you guys think? You like it? Oh, delight! You found in here. You want to dance? Sure. Oh, he's a wet baby. Check. Hello. And Eva, you like it in here? Yeah. The storm just passed, so we're gonna go on a little ride. Buggy, we we'll get ice cream. Just a small ice cream. Okay. We do ice cream, don't we? We do good ice good ice cream. Yeah. We're good at eating ice cream. How's that ice cream? Good, good. Turtle ice cream? We didn't get you guys ice cream, sorry. Mm -hmm. Gary's leg. That's right. 